Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aftermath on the Sportsnet YouTubes. My name is Nug Nargang. How are you? I'm fine. And joining me as always here on Aftermath is former WWE sports entertainment referee, Jimmy Corderas, uh, former WWE superstar, Anthony Corelli, and Sportsnet's own Kevin Mickey. Guys, we're going to get started with our wins for the week that was in WWE. And last week, uh, both Kevin and I said how much we uh, appreciated uh, Cesaro on SmackDown, uh, really being the MVP of the show, doing a lot, getting it done, making him making a name for himself. But I, I'm going over to Raw. It's not often we talk about good stuff from Raw, but I'm moving over to Raw, and I'm I'm saying that my guy on Raw lately for consistency, for good matches, showing up and doing double duty a lot of the time, and still looking amazing. Sheamus. Sheamus has been working his butt off every show on Monday Night Raw, and consistently good matches we've seen some really good matches with riddle we've seen good matches with and against keith lee last night uh taking it to morrison and then taking on morrison and miz sheamus is really working hard and looking better and better every week and i gotta say he's gotta be in the conversation for doing well at the rumble now he's the mvp of raw well i don't know if i would if I actually call him the mvp but he is he, he you know what Every roster needs a workhorse. They need somebody they could rely on, depend on. And Sheamus has always been that guy that you can rely on and depend on. Like you said, put on a good match. Do what he's got to do. He talks well. <clears throat> he's the complete package. And, and right now, uh, I'm enjoying Sheamus. I just want to know which side of the fence he sits on. That's all. Yeah, yeah he's definitely the Clydesdale if he was a workhorse. He, um, he's, he's everything. He he's, looks like a gimmick. He's tough. He's a character and he's now all of a sudden, you know, he's been around like a really long time. He's always kind of was this new guy that had a meteoric rise and fast forward all these years. And he's, he's like, he's the veteran. So yeah. he's fun to watch. And he is, his matches, you know, they're tough matches. Like they're physical. Absolutely. Not only is he like a Clydesdale, he wrestles like a horse. He has the bro <laughs> kick, which is like a horse kick. That's my yeah. contribution to this conversation. Yeah, he's a real thoroughbred. Uh, out there with his <laughs> horse, horse, the horse kick, I think we're going to call it from now on. Uh, Anthony, moving on to you, your win. Uh, a little interaction between two of our goofy favorites on Monday Night Raw. Yes, as uh, I was just uh, spoke about it uh, on the bump there, and I was talking, I saw something magical. <laughs> there was a moment when all of a sudden I saw R Truth and Matt Riddle backstage, and they had this. So when R Truth speaks, <laughs> nobody can understand what he's saying. And when Riddle speaks, everyone's like, what? And when these two guys speak with each other, they understand each other perfectly. And I'm like, oh my God, this is a tag team. And this is a tag team that the audience can get behind and they can feed off each other. And then, well, now we have it. I just hope they go with it. I hope someone saw that magic. And um, I think together they can really have that synergy and, and provide some really good entertainment. That, I'm, I'm glad. Really, I'm glad you. I'm glad you mentioned it, just because I thought that it was super entertaining to hear them chatting backstage, and it, they it felt so, it felt so natural too yes. to watch them just have a conversation. It it really engaged me immediately. So I'm I'm with you, Anthony. I'd love to see them tag in yeah. the future, uh, mm -hmm. because hey, there's some spots for tag teams on the show, right? Said, Absolutely, and, and and I didn't even think of that putting them together as a tag team. That that, that that's very fast times. Oh, it's absolutely. Uh, what I like is that neither of them understand, uh, no one understands them, but when they talk to each other, it's this secret language, like twins. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. They have this amazing language. They speak to each other. Jimmy, moving on to your win, the Tribal Chief on SmackDown. I hate to sound like a broken record, but right now, <laughs> to me, Roman Reigns is on a different level, a different plateau, a different range than pretty much most of the roster. He is so engaging. I think he has found something that he has tapped into. And not only is he knocking it out of the park inside the ring, outside the ring, on the microphone, he's also elevating everyone else around him and they've upped their game too. So, you know, hats off to Roman Reigns for, for just being the guy right now. Yeah. It's kind of the thing where every single week you see Roman doing something similar and it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that good, but then all of a sudden you find yourself extremely captivated by it. You're drawn in and you say, you know what? I could watch Roman Reigns talk and just belittle people for hours on end, it feels like. First time I, I saw Roman, I, w I went to FCW and I, 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 there's only been a few times where I double take, you know, and, and every double take has been somebody who, ended up being a somebody. So, you know, 
just to mess with him, I went up to him and I go, hey, I hear you're a pretty good singer. Like I never even met the guy before, right? Just to see what he says and in his cool, calm voice, he goes, I can hold a note. <laughs> it was That's just a perfect answer. Yeah, I can hold a note. And I was like, oh, okay, I got a good answer, I guess. But anyway, you're seeing that confidence and that cool voice and the way he responded. It's just all that is now transferred to this character who's just cool as a cucumber. And I love that uh, there's a real interesting thing here where he's found that voice, that calmness, that that confidence in a world where there are no what chance preventing that from happening. Uh, Ooh, we've gotten to see this it. happen because there's been no fans, for lack of a better word, ruining, ruining it inside the thumb. But, what? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, the uh, pandemic, that's, that's been one nice thing, at least. No it's a, you get to, to, the stories get to be told without being yeah. interrupted, which is fantastic. I wonder what's going to happen when the fans come back, if we're going to, if we're going to. I say let five in, ruined. and if they can behave themselves, then we let five more in. And <laughs> if they ruin it, we let, we take five away. Uh, Kevin, moving on to your win here, uh, I and I couldn't agree more. The Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic is back, but this time, there's women. That's right. I love the fact that we're getting some women in the Dusty Tag Team Classic because as we've seen on Raw and SmackDown, there's not a lot of competition for the Women's Tag Team Championship belt. So it's cool to see that there's a lot of women's tag teams in this tournament now. One of my favorite teams, uh, Casey Catanzaro and Caden Carter, yeah. they picked up a big surprise win over Mercedes Martinez and uh, um, Tony, Tony Storm. Storm. Tony yeah. Storm looks like a giant compared to Casey Catanzaro, who looks like you could put her in your carry-on and take her on a plane with you. Uh, Kate, oh my God, what a performance from Catanzaro and what a finishing maneuver. What a maneuver. Now, Jimmy always match. makes jokes about a twisting, burning, 450, whatever, but I legit that's, don't know that's how that's many that's... times she flipped. I couldn't uh, count that many times and I don't know what it was, but it was very effective. I it's risk my like, reward. But yeah, here's, and here, here's what, a, what a reward too is amazing. Exactly. And that's my point. Uh, you know, we see these big, high flying, uh, risky moves uh, done sometimes ad nauseum. This was the time to do it. it. There has to be a reason behind doing the move and doing something as flashy and as spectacular as that and make it memorable. When you do it too many times or do too many different <clears throat> twisty, flashy, 450 twisting, burning hammer phoenix splashes, then they don't mean anything. <laughs> now, yeah. when you do I it love one the hammer time, phoenix splash. Yeah, when you do it one time and it and it's impactful, then people remember. Yeah, and I, I think it was even more imp impactful because she did it without a hammer. I know how hard it is just to do, <laughs> but to do it while you're holding a sledgehammer, impossible. I don't know how yeah. you did it. Uh, there should guys, be two outcomes of a, of a move like that. Either someone's getting hurt. Either yeah. the person that does it and they move out of the way or the person that takes it. Someone's getting hurt with that type of maneuver. It's the risk. That's the risk you take when you're trying to advance in the dusty women's tag team classic. Guys, uh, what have you got for your wins this week in WWE? Let us know on Twitter. Use the hashtag AskAftermath and be sure to tag Jimmy Carderis in because he gots to know. He gots to know. Uh, guys, stick around. We've got our fails. We're going to talk Royal Rumble. And Anthony won trivia last week, so he's written some questions that I hear were square. not done right before we started this recording. Yeah, they're fair at one fair and square. It's true.